In these strange times we find ourselves living in, many people are choosing or are being forced to find alternative employment. And one of the fastest growing sectors is online sex work, comprising of live streams, photos, videos, and selling soiled underwear to the world's more discerning perverts. And the industry has grown so rapidly, there's now an organisation called Centro, which is an online university for sex workers. This is only for people who do their trade online. On sites like OnlyFans, where for $10 a month you can watch a failed nursing student inserting things into her various orifices. Or on sites like Twitch, where socially inadequate beta males can watch scantily clad women playing video games. Yes, that's a real thing. But the university doesn't cater for those unfortunate individuals who've ended up working on the streets, although I guess that would be a very short course. Stay off the heroin and try not to get murdered. Anyone who works as an online sex worker, that's grand. In times like these, you're providing a valuable service. But I do have an issue with Centro calling itself a university, because to me, there's a fundamental difference between a woman who has a degree in social anthropology and a guy who makes a living on a webcam ramming a 14-inch rubber cock up his arsehole. Don't get me wrong, both have shown commitment to get where they are in this scenario, but the anthropologist has done years of study and exams, whereas the guy on the webcam, he's just needed lubricant and a lot of determination. Yet Centro says to be a successful online sex worker requires a huge skill set. Really? First up, lighting. Now, I'm not one to talk, but I'm not an online sex worker. But I had a look on Amazon, and you can get basic lighting for about £50, and for a tenner, ring lighting for a mobile phone. Next, camera angles. These days, we all carry an HD recording device in our pockets. And for anyone under the age of 30, they won't remember a time before camera phones. And how hard can it be if you're on a webcam? Here's me tit, here's me dadge. Next, the importance of hair and makeup. But in Western society, which females don't know how to do hair and makeup by the time they're in high school? And if this is aimed at men who do their hair and makeup, that's much more specialist. I know there are some men who are into drag queens and ladyboys, but I don't understand it. If you like cock, why can't you just be regular gay? I expect it's more complicated than that. And I would have also thought that women who were attracted to other women would have dressed in a very feminine manner to try and attract a like-minded female. But there are plenty of lesbians who look like they play as a prop forward for Leicester Tigers, so I guess it takes all sorts. The university also stresses the importance of marketing for an online sex worker. But how hard can that be? Get some decent photos taken, put them on Instagram and hashtag the fuck out of it, then put a link up saying... If you want to watch me finger blasting myself while you smash one out, get online at 8 o'clock. And I would guess to be a moderately successful male webcam supporter, all you would need is to be half decent looking, spend a lot of time in the gym and have a massive dick. And as for females, well that will be much, much easier. Although there will be a lot more competition. But let's be fair, as long as you're a 3 out of 10, some blokes are going to be interested. In fact, 3 out of 10 is probably being a bit too generous. Because the standards are lower from men looking at women. Because I don't think there could be, say, a successful, say, morbidly obese male performer. And I can talk about fat people because I'm a tubby bastard. But when it comes to larger women, and let's be fair, yes, some people have genetic problems, but for the vast majority, it's just poor lifestyle choices. But some fellas are really into that. Because, you know... Big girls, I mean really big girls. The one who've got that sideways waddle going on. Their ankles are flowing out over their shoes and they've got a bit of a beard starting. Well, their boyfriends, husbands, whatever, are always these really skinny, rat-faced bastards wearing a baseball cap and a checked shirt like they're expecting 1997 to come round again. Anyway, what I'm getting at is if you are of the female variety or a man who dresses like you're of the female variety you'll always be able to sell nudes or appear online. Because it doesn't matter what shape or size you are, or whether you're 18 or 80, there'll always be a market. So to wrap this video up, I don't think Centro should be classed as a university, but it is registered as one. 
And because of the strange twists and turns my life has taken, I have several qualifications in advanced integrative psychotherapy. This year I was ordained as a minister and I also have a forklift license. But I don't have a degree. Yet. And because Centro's courses are at present free of charge, I'm planning to enrol. Because in the near future, when Covid is over, I'd love to go to a party and meet someone for the first time and say, hello, I'm Reverend Danny, and I've just finished the course to become a qualified online sex worker. I've got a spare bedroom and a camera, so I guess I'm halfway there. Thanks for watching.